Hello good people of YouTube, Mountban here, and today I have a replay f for you from Ramos113, better known as Ramos on by his YouTube uh, username, I believe that is your YouTube username, because I believe I've seen you around in, in the live streams before, Ramos. So he is here in the Tier 9 Premium French Battleship, the Jean Bar. Now, for all intents and purposes, the Jean Bar is a Richelieu-class battleship that is in its 1950s refit. And on top of that, you can also feed your loaders cocaine, and uh, they can magically reload the main battery guns of this thing in half the amount of time that it normally takes. Now, if you are using a base Jean Bar and don't take main battery mod 3, it has a 25-second base reload. If you take main battery mod 3, it has a 22 second base reload. And once you feed your gunners the crack or, co or cocaine or speed or whatever, you know, group of drugs they inject the gunners with, it can cut that reload time down to 11 seconds. On top of that, if you take Adrenaline Rush and you get Jean Bar down to about half health, got about a 9 8 second reload on this ship. It is crazy how fast this ship can fire, especially considering this is a battleship. Now, granted, the module is only active for hmm, 15 seconds, so you can get one, maybe two, three if you time it perfectly. Quick salvos off, just bang, bang, bang. On top of that, she has 15 inch guns. Now, those guns are a bit small for tier 9, however, they are French 15 inch guns, which means they have a very, very, very high velocity. And that means you'll be getting a lot of overpin on cruisers and destroyers, but you will be pinning the crap out of battleships from eh, just about any angle. You can even citadel them th when they're that steeply angled. Yeah. Normally, I don't think that would have been a citadel in the Montana. He was angled, granted, he was angled kind of shallow, but from the bow one like that, mm, that may not have happened if he wasn't in Jean Bar. If he was in Yemi, yeah. But it also means you get this. Straight over pins on broadside cruisers. Now, if they are a bit steeper angled, the shells will then bite because, you know, angling increases the effective thickness of the armor, giving the, sh the shells more meat to bite into. And he does get another salvo off in the Megami, but RNG just says no, he doesn't get any type of pins there. And back to the Montana he goes, and he has already used his first of his reload consumables. Uh, no Citadel that time, two pins and three over pins, the Monty was more steeply angled. And that is the thing about these 15 inch guns at tier 10. While yes, they can bite pretty hard against really steep, steeply angled targets, if they angle just a little bit more, they will probably bounce because, you know, tier 10 and tier 9 ships have quite good armor, including the cruisers. So, the game's going alright so far. His team has control of two caps, but they are also down two cruisers. You saw that Zao got nuked by a destroyer, and another cruiser went off and died somewhere. <laughs> and he is currently being targeted by what I'm assuming is a Wooster. Oh, hello, Montana! Montana is again somewhat shallowly angled, and let's see, will he get another through the battle citadel? And he does. Look at that, 15,000 damage. Now, s throughout this replay, some ships are going to be a bit jerky. It's just a replay bug. Um, nothing I can do about it, so I do apologize for that. And we'll be viewing from Rambos' perspective the entire time, so what you're seeing on screen is how it went down in game. He does try to do the little Mac, the map uh, peeking glitch right here. And then let's see another Citadel in the Montana. Nope, a pin and an overpin though. Now the enemy Jean Bar is being quite aggressive and pushing. Uh, but then decides to show Ramos the broadside of his Jean Bar. Jean Bar still has tier 8 levels of armor, so not the best idea to do in a tier 10 game. Um, and Ramos is doing a full French tactic and running in reverse with his engine boost on. I can't blame him too much. I do it all the time in my Jean Bar because you do not want to be focused in the Jean Bar, especially at tier 10. HE loves to chew on through this ship. Hey, there's that Mogami again. Ramos takes a completely guess shot that was free aimed. He was not locked onto the Mogami because the Mogami went invisible. And. 
Yep, four overpins. You know, pretty good for a shot that uh, was taken when the Megami was undetected. Enemy Jambar is still selling broadside onto Ramos. Ramos is at 57,000 damage. And we are, j you know, just over five minutes into this match. He's doing really good so far. Oh, that's a really nice shot in that enemy Jambar. It takes off 16k of his health. And he looks like he has stopped for the moment. He's, yep, he is dead. He's not moving forward or backwards. Just taking stock of the situation. He is detected, but he's not being targeted yet because... Ramos does have the priority target on for his Jean Barra captain. Now, priority target is not something I take with battleships because, you know, you're a battleship. You're a damaged pinata. Of course, if you're detected, you're probably going to be shot at, and that's what I assumed. So he's got two ships targeting him, him here. He takes a shot at this very, very uh, laggy Minotaur. Gets two pins on him, 7k damage. And let's say he's waiting for him to open up a little bit. This Minotaur is still just, well... Sung straight into Rambus' line of fire. Rambus is tired of waiting and takes another shot at the Minotaur. And oh, look at that, he opens up perfectly. Ooh, no Citadel, but does erase 12k of that Minotaur's health. Now, the Zombar's guns are much more accurate than the Tier 8 Richelieu's. I mean, even salvos like that are still more accurate than the Richelieu's guns. and. So you can about imagine what the Richelieu's uh, dispersion's like. So this Minotaur does a bit of an S turn, straightens out some more. And I'm not sure if Rambles was AFK there or what, because his camera does stick here for a second. Not sure if you know he was talking to someone in real life or if this is just a replay bug or what. But his camera does stay fixated here for a hot second. Oh, he's back. So that Montana's being burned, no need to shoot at him. Hey, there's that, uh... There's that Megami again. Takes another shot at him. See how this turns out. I mean, he really likes the bullet cam. Ooh, Citadel on that Megami on top of two pins. Another 15k. Oh, there goes that Megami. <laughs> the 15k to Ramos' total, which he's sitting at 108,000 damage right now. And we are just barely reaching the halfway point of the game now. Ramos playing with the camera a little bit. And he's now pushing forward back into C. Looks like his team's not doing too, too hot at A. Um, although they are still killing stuff. Ooh, a broadside booster. And let's see. He leads them a f well, fairly good amount. Since the the uh, John Bar does have the French velocity, she does not. You don't. You do not need to lead as much as you would in a battleship with lesser velocity, like American battleships. And ooh, twenty four thousand. Damage off of that Wooster. Almost kills him. I suspect he should be dead here in a second. And no, of course, no one wants to finish off the boost up. Oh, someone took a shot at him. Nope, Wooster survived. More from him later. So now Ramos is pushing into C. There's that Minotaur and that Shimakaze still around C. Shimakaze is you see his last spotted position on the map, and the Minotaur is also somewhere in that smoke screen where Minotaurs naturally always hide. Ramos still just charging straight in. And he's not detected, so either both of those ships are in the smoke or up oh, now he's detected. And he's targeted. His sectors are going off on the Minotaur. There it is. What a beautiful shot there. Ramos firing now. The Minotaur is pretty kind of steeply angled, but it's angled enough to where either his his uh, Citadel was protected, or RNG just said no. Anyway, Ramos did pop his um, reload boost right there. Unfortunately, he will not get to use it because it will be running out here in five seconds. Here comes a Bismarck. And 19 kilometers away, Ramos opens fire. Will it hit? That looks good. Now, German battleships are always really juicy targets for any type of ship with high velocity guns. All their armor is just, you know, food for those high velocity shells. Unfortunately, RNG just said no and Ramos did mix. Hey, here's there's that Wusa Ramos slapped in the face a little while ago. Let's see if we can finish it off. So Ramos is being wary of that Shimakaze that was still that was spotted around here. Ramos is in the cap, not capping. Ah, there's some torpedoes. Fortunately, Ramos is going slow enough to where he can avoid them and get some nice torpedo beats going on. Wusta's still alive. Ramos is at 1.1 million potential damage so far. 
dodges another set of torpedoes, pops his speed boost, and let's see what happens to this Wooster. No Citadel, but another 6k off of that Wooster South. Hey, there's a Simikaze. More on him later. Not really, he's about to be molested by that cruiser in front of Ramos. Ramos is more focused on this Bismarck. Yep, that Zhao just erased that Shimikaze. Let's see what happens. More bullet camera. There we go. Lobs a nice chunk of health off of that Bismarck. Ramos still detected and targeted. And that Bismarck's expected to hit Ramos from 17 kilometers away. As much as I love Bismarck, that's not likely to happen. And Bismarck, man, gets a ricochet. And Ramos is about to pull a tactical Notzer into this island right here. Which, I mean, still gives him a perfect shot at that Bismarck. And let's see what happens. Fifth, oh, look at that dispersion. That's a really good dispersion from Ramos, not from the Bismarck. And, ooh, 6,000 off that Bismarck and Confederate. Hey, there's that Wooster again. Woosters are really good at being just annoying enough, but, you know, they're so sneaky. And, if, well, if you have a good Wooster player, they're sneaky. So they're really difficult to kill. There are, you know, the armor of a Wooster is made out of, is made out of wet toilet paper, but... Mm. Ooh, perfect broadside shot at that Bismarck, and another 7,000 off only two pinned. I actually suspect one pinned and one possibly hit the um, torpedo bulge and only, you know, did so much damage. Another shot off at the Bismarck, 13 kilometers away. Another good round of dispersion from, um, ooh, from Ramos right there. 6,000 off that Bismarck. He popped his reload booster, which means his gunners are currently having crack go through their veins. Another 7,000 off of that Bismarck. Bismarck is repairing, opens up, gives Ramos a perfect broadside. And will Ramos get the kill? Yes, Ramos will get the kill. All right, so Bismarck is down. There's one more. Hey, look, it's the Turpits. It's the other battleship that's left alive, which is currently being molested by Midway. Turpits does not have that great of AA, and Midway's a tier 10 carrier. You do the math. <laughs> and, oh, 703 health left, and Ramos secures the kill. So that's two kills for Ramos in quick succession. He's up to 195,000 damage so far. That's my, uh, well, that's not my record in Bajan, but oh, that's, my, that's my highest record that I have recorded. Um, so, you know, he can only beat my recorded record from here. Uh, it looks like the carrier tried to go after Ramos, but Ramos didn't give a crap because Jean Bar's AA, even after, the, even after the rework, is still very, very nice. And he's sailing straight for A, hey, Azal! Unfortunately, the Zal would be going behind the cover of that island, so Ramos cannot get at him yet. So, oh look, there's the Hakuru, the guy that just targeted Ramos. Hey, there's that Wooster again, and this lovely, lovely rainbow of fire. Brightside onto Ramos. Ramos lines up, takes a shot, starts to dodge the incoming torpedoes from the Hakuru. And, ooh, Citadel, and goodbye, Wooster. That is kill number three for Ramos. Hey, Hakuru, 14 kilometers away. Uh, here comes another s round of torpedoes from the Hakuru. And, ooh, the, ooh, will he dodge these? Oh, this is going to be close, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the Hakuru. Takes a shot at him, and ooh, that scratched the paint off of the torpedo bulges. Uh, Ramos pops his reload boost. Oh, 23,000 off of the Hakuru. Oh boy, and this Hakuru, well, naturally you can't turn because his planes are out right now. And oh man, goodbye Hakuru. Another 28,000 damage off of the Hakuru. Lines up, takes another shot. Hakuru is trying to get some last minute damage in there on the friendly cruiser. And goodbye Hakuru. 268,000 damage for Ramos. Can he sneak in the kill on the Zao before the game ends? His guns are reloading in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let him fly, Ramos. Unfortunately, the Des Memes gets the kill right before Ramos could get his Kraken. That was an amazing Jean Bar game. Ramos shows way more patience than I have when I play, well, 
anything really. <laughs> yes, that nice amount of patience and good positioning and wow, 268,000 damage in the Jean Bar. An amazing game from Ramos there. And not a shell of HE was fired. Good job, Ramos. That my hat is off to you, dude. That was an amazing game you had there. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment, tell Ramos uh, what you think of his gameplay right there, and uh, hit that subscribe button. We are on our way to 2,000 subscribers. We are now under 200 subscribers away from that. We're actually under 190 now. You guys are awesome, and I have full confidence in you that if not going into April, early in April, we'll be hitting... 2,000 subscribers so that means you guys tell me what you guys want to see for 2,000 subscribers that is our next milestone and we like I said we are getting very very close to hitting it all right guys hope you have an amazing Thursday you guys are awesome hope to catch all of you guys in the next one <laughs>